<laughs> I just got off to a false start. I was using one of my test channels to uh, to 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 make sure that the network was going to hold up. I had some like network. Diff oh yeah, so I'm at a different location. I'm, I'm on location at a game jam this weekend, and. Uh, yeah, so I was using my other channel to uh, to test it with the network, and, and actually, you know, I had to iron out a few issues, but um, but we're up and running now, and I got off to a false start because I was broadcasting on the wrong channel. But uh, hey, hopefully I'm on the right one now. I um, I'm I yeah, I only have my laptop with me. I don't have my other computer, so I don't <laughs> usually I have the uh, like the stream running in the background so that I can check uh, that things are like working. Um, I I'm gonna have to do it. Uh, well, I guess I can switch over to face cam so that you guys don't have to watch it. Oop, why is that test there? Yeah, that was also <laughs> from when I was, uh, I was testing stuff out earlier. So, um, it looks like things are open. I'm just going to turn the audio on for me for a second. Um, yeah, that seems good. All right, so <laughs> let's assume things are working now, maybe. Could, it could happen, right? Uh, <laughs> I mean, they're going to be... They're, I assume this weekend is not going to be without ins Oh, look, I'm wearing a shirt. Isn't that weird? <laughs> uh, I assume this weekend is not going to be without incident, but, um, I don't know. <laughs> Hopefully it'll... No, I really don't know. Oh, I guess if I need to, I can use my, uh, I can use my, I have my mobile device. Like, maybe I'll use that as my second screen, uh, uh, for, for testing purposes. So, yeah, actually I can, I can get rid of that for now, because that seems fine. And then I can switch it back over to desktop cam. Uh, I'm just gonna, uh, I'm just gonna post about this real quick. So, uh, yeah, actually, though, before I do that, um, oh yeah, I was, in, I was in the middle of setting up the project. The new project is gonna be called, uh, uh, oh, oh, right, so the theme of the jam this weekend is disguises. And, uh, I have, like, a rough idea of, of what I want to do with that. Um, and, uh, but just, yeah, for, like, for just a, a quasi-evocative name of the project, I'm going to go with an acronym from the internet, and it is going to be I -M, uh, I -A -M -A, I -A -M -A. Uh, does that mean what I think it means? I assume it's literally just those three words concatenated, but let me double check. Um, yeah, it's just those letters concatenated. All right, so yeah, I might as well go with that. Um, yeah, the, the theme is disguises, and I'm gonna, uh, hey Mario, actually, how's it going? <laughs> uh, welcome to the stream, uh, thanks for following. Uh, <laughs> yeah, we're just getting started, and, uh, I hope to have a lot of fun this weekend. Um, I was just saying, I was just talking about, um, maybe you heard, uh, the theme is disguise, the theme of this jam is disguises, and, uh, so I'm thinking, the way, I, like, I don't have the full idea, like, flushed out yet, but I'm thinking, like, the way to, to to involve the, the theme, or to use the theme for the project, is uh, to play on how, um, how like, have you, like, you've probably heard the expression, like, fake it till you make it, or, like, if not, you've probably heard the sentiment about, like, um, you know, even if you're not certain about something, like, some, one of the things that we do sometimes is we, we like, we put up, we, we like, we, we convince our, we have to convince ourselves, or even if we're not, if we're not thoroughly convinced, Inwardly, we have to outwardly project like a confidence about what we are, so that other people will recognize us for what we are, um, and like that's that's kind of actually how we become what we become. Um, and so, playing on the theme of disguises, I want to make a game where um, where your character starts out like very, very, uh, very primitive. It might be a robot. <laughs> For for various reasons, it, it might be a robot. Your character might be a robot, and your 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 initial robot maybe it only has like the capacity to move slightly. Uh, and then um, so disguises the disguises in the game the quote unquote disguises will kind of be like it might not be a robot. <laughs> it might be like a biological entity. I don't know, but um, yeah. So like the disguises that you get in the game, they'll be, I think they'll be like literal. Uh, objects that you can collect or appropriate in some way and um, they'll bestow your character with like some ability uh, but then also that might literally be all of it because like I mean for game jam you don't want a really high scope I think I wanted just to play off the, what I was saying earlier about like how we how we present ourselves and how we sort of become our own disguises um, I kind of want to I kind of want like the 
the, the character to actually like grow as a result of of using these disguises and so like for example if you use like um I'll, i guess i'll continue to call them disguises just uh you know because so so, so, i guess uh so that i don't drift too far conceptually but um yeah if, oh sorry i was gonna post something real quick i'm gonna do that real quick maybe i might be able to talk while i do it but if i if my brain starts to wander it's because i'm just gonna check something else real quick. okay so uh so yeah so i think the disguises would be represented as like objects in the game and like so like if if a disguise, <laughs> I'm I have such a one track mind. It's gonna be difficult for me to do two things at once. But uh, if um, the uh, if the uh, what if like the yeah so you you get a, so let's say you get a disguise a disguise that lets you uh, jump for example. Um, I don't know if jumping will be one. It might be one. Uh, we'll see. Uh, well, yeah. So like you use the disguise and then uh, but then if you lose the disguise at some point. Uh, I think I, I don't know. I kind of, I'm thinking I might want to make it so that like you've you've gained some jumping capacity just for having worn that disguise for like for however long. Um, I also like when I was younger, I really liked games like uh, Kirby and Kid Chameleon, which is why I think I like uh, kind of this like interpretation of uh, disguise. <laughs> it was really hard for me when uh, when the theme was announced not to just be like. I'm gonna make Costume Quest, because I know they just made a new Costume Quest. <laughs> I haven't even played that one yet, but I love the game Costume Quest. I think, like, if, <laughs> in a, if I could travel to an alternate universe where Costume Quest had never been made, I would make Costume Quest right now for this jam, and I would win the jam, because that game is awesome. Alright, sorry, I'm just gonna post this real quick. Um, and then I'm gonna switch accounts, <laughs> and then I'm gonna retweet myself, because that's how I roll. Uh, <laughs> um, There we go. That wasn't that wasn't too tight. Too tight. All right. So yeah, we're we're gonna name this. Uh, I'm naming the project I am a uh, Bioman seven eight nine. Hey, welcome to the stream. Uh, uh, thanks for thanks for tuning in. Uh, um, we are about to start a game, a very new project. Hey, uh, <laughs> how's it going? Uh, welcome to the stream. Um, yeah, we're about, we're just about to start a new project. Here we are at the make new project project wizard <laughs> project wizard would also be a cool name for a game i might make that one in the future i don't know what the game's about but i just want, <laughs> I just want to make a game called project wizard anyways uh here we go so um i um yeah so i was thinking about so yeah i've been thinking a little bit about how i want to make this game right i should probably do that at some point right if <laughs> if, uh, if i will have a uh, an actual game at some point but um yeah, for starters, uh, I'm just going to set up a few project things. Uh, this game is probably more about uh, robots than wizards. Project Wizard, definitely about wizards. Maybe also about robots. That that we'll have to figure out at some point in the future. Yeah, the game we're, uh, we're making now for this channel... <laughs> I don't know why I went off on that tangent. I, um, I get easily distracted. Uh, the game we're making today, and... Uh, oh, so yeah, I don't know if, if you guys caught... If you follow me on uh, on Twitter, you might have uh, right, there's a there's a link to my Twitter thing down there. It's at srsly underscore bz. Uh, yeah, my schedule for this weekend is uh, is pretty cool. <laughs> I've never done this before, but I'm gonna stream for like eight hours today, and I'm gonna take a quick break, mostly because I have to change locations. Uh, this jam isn't actually hosting overnight; it's only uh, hosting during the day. Um, but then I'm gonna go home. I'm gonna stream. <laughs> <laughs> for like 10 more hours from home and then I'm going to come back and uh, and stream another I don't know how many hours tomorrow as well so uh, oh yeah so for my for my projects I've never actually named a project but I always like I have to like set up my project with some like dev naming convention hey we got a new follower uh, Kinetic, uh, Kinetic AE thank you for following um <laughs> Uh, yeah, I tend to name my projects, or just for my dev names, I always use like a, at least for now, I've been using like a four letter abbreviation, and so I try, like I don't, I, um, I haven't really bothered trying to think of like a good name for projects, but I always like try and name them something that is like fundamental about the project, so uh, the theme of this jam that I'm participating in is disguises, and uh, yeah, I was talking a little bit about how, how we're going to play on like, I guess like, like pers our, our our own personas and uh, and 
like how we present ourselves and and uh, and how that affects us. So yeah, the 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 dev name for this project is I am a, uh or like I A it's spelled I A M A like I am a dot 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 and the so the game will be about disguises and so what uh, what you are or what your character is over the course of the game will actually change, which is why, yeah. Anyways, uh, so what do I know about this project? So I want to make it. Uh, oh, so well, I, I, I'm not 100 percent about this, but I'm thinking I want to make it like kind of like um, kind of like a top down sort of view. I'm thinking the game will probably take place on a grid uh, to make to make movement simple. Um, I. Uh, I'm, I'm still relatively new to jams. I've only done, like, several so far. And, uh... I don't know if I'm any good at themes. Like, the first one I, uh... The first jam I've ever I participated in, I think I did... No, I didn't even do that great with the theme. Yeah, I don't know. I'm... <laughs> I, uh, I, I don't know if I'd say I hate themes. I, I guess I never really thought about them that much. But I'm, I'm certainly not very good at them. Because, like, my project always just ends up, like, really weird instead. Um... Oh, uh, <laughs> so there's like a, excuse me, there's like a chat room for the jam that I'm purchasing. Oh, I probably shouldn't show that on camera. Yeah, because other people might be saying things in chat. Uh, oh, sorry about that. I shouldn't have mentioned it. Anyways, I was just going to peek in on, and see what other people in the jam are chatting about, but I, don't, I, uh, I haven't acquired all of their permissions to, uh, to show that type of thing. Um, the camera, so I won't do that. Um, <laughs> I'm just open. I, uh, I usually, like, when I'm at home, I have, like, another computer set up where I can uh, check out the stream. I'm just going to uh, open it on my mobile device because I don't know. I just want to make sure things are going all right. <laughs> if I can do that, I might not be able to do that. Uh, I'm not going to worry about it. All right, anyways. <laughs> so, actually, it's up to you guys to let me know if, like, something weird, like, if technical difficulties occur and, like, the stream cuts out or something, so I'm gonna figure it out but immediately. Um, so this is the uh, this is the Purple Monkey Game Jam that I'm participating in. I'm uh, on location. Uh, it's taking place in Boston, Massachusetts. Some local offices were kind enough to to host it uh, all today and tomorrow. Um, yeah, so it's uh, yeah, it's, this is the this is the fifth iteration of the the Purple Monkey Game Jam. It's um, yeah. Oh, thank you. Wow. That's fast. Thank you, Slime <laughs> Um <laughs> So, uh, oh, um, I'm just gonna check something. <laughs> well, no, okay, I won't get, I won't be boring. If I, if I use my other device too much, I'll get really boring, and I don't want to become supremely boring, but um, I'm just going to uh, switch over. All right, cool, yeah. <laughs> I was like, oh, cool, all these viewers, I wonder where they're coming from. I wonder if I got retweeted, and I did, so thank you. Yeah, if you, if you, if you found it uh, because of that, then cool. <laughs> Thank you, Slimy Grub. Uh, yeah, that's uh, that link in chat is has the information. Um, all right, so I should probably start. <laughs> the other thing I tend to do in game jams, because I think it's because I'm still relatively new to them, and I, I'm used to working like on my own schedule, where I can just like literally work at whatever pace I care to work at. Um, I'm really not good about deadlines, so I... I tend to I tend to slack off at the beginning of game jams, and then I spend like the the last thirty percent like just like like my fingers like succumbing to like extreme like heat from like the friction of just like constant like typing and like just, it gets bad. So, uh, <laughs> so in order to not in order for that not to be the case, I should probably start doing stuff. I think I know a few things about the game. I think uh, I think I know that I want a grid. So uh, so one thing I'm just gonna do real quick is I'm gonna make a grid texture. That I can put down on the world. Or should I? Hmm. I mean, I guess yeah. For starters, I'm just gonna put down like a grid texture. It's going to be uh, it's going to be just an individual, like an individual square. No, I guess no. I could. Uh, I don't have to. I don't have to use like an individual quad for each um, for each spot of this grid. I could just use like a. I could just use like one really big quad. So, uh, so what should I do? Like maybe uh, if I literally just use pixels, is that gonna? I wonder how that would look. I've actually never tried this before. So, I'm I'm, I'm just gonna see if I could like literally just use like a pixel grid and uh, and blow it up and if it'll if that'll render okay or if it'll like render. It might render all weird if it tries to get like like quote unquote smart about like anti-aliasing or something. 
Uh, but let's let's try it for starters. Let's uh, so all right. So new. Let's try like 64 by 64. I don't know how big I want actually, but this is just like for starters. Um, and then what's the? I guess I can just use a pencil tool. Uh, I won't actually do like the full grid. I just um, I just want to see how if I put this on a texture and I blow it up, like, d is this actually going to look okay or is this going to look really like smushy and weird? All right, so save this as uh, uh, save this as where? All right, so it goes with uh, projects. I am nope, that's not a project. Uh, I am uh, assets. Uh, so let's say let's call this grid dot uh, thing. Uh, sure, cool. Save that. All right, so now we have a grid, uh, sort of, kind of. <laughs> um, so let's create an, uh, just a quad. Um, basically, I'll probably like subdivide this for like the for like the actual. Uh, project, but, um, oh, I'm just gonna, uh, I think, I might want to use a perspective camera, but for starters, I'm thinking I might just want to use an orthographic camera, um, that way, uh, instead of, like, instead of, like, a, like, a game, like, like, a top-down, like, uh, instead of, like, trying to add perspective, I think it'll be, like, strictly top-down, like, like, very, very simple graphics. I mean, again, I'm not an artist. I'm not a, like, I, <laughs> the extent to which I'm an artist, quote unquote, is that I, I, I enjoy doodling silly little pictures sometimes. Not that I actually have any real skill there. So I really should not overshoot in terms of what I try and do for this uh, project. Why is it always offset by one? I don't know what that's about. No, wait, what? Zero. Um, okay, so the camera, yeah, for some reason the camera starts with a Y value of one. I guess, I don't know, anyways. Uh, Alright, so, uh, so, yeah, I will use lighting. Now, for now, I'm just going to make things unlit. I might want to introduce lighting, and I might want to choose perspective at some point, but again, for now, I'm just going to start very simple. Because, I, like, I'm really picky about lighting, and uh, I, <laughs> I could spend a, an, a, an undue amount of time, like, uh, what? what? Texture. Yeah, there we go. Okay. Uh, I could spend an undue amount of time uh, trying to get <laughs> the lighting like quite right. Uh, all right, so what do I? Oh uh, yeah, so I want to. Um, I want to see what happens if I make this uh, sized uh, sixty-four uh, by sixty-four by sixty-four. I guess just to see how it renders. Uh, how it renders. Uh, where's our camera? Oh, here we go. Yeah, I just want to see how, what. Uh, with those like pixel, with that pixel grid. Oh yeah, I was worried it would come out like this. So that's disappointing. But um, I wonder if there's like a setting that I can. Yeah, there we go. All right, cool. Uh, filter mode. <laughs> I've I have no clue what filter mode does. It's just like maybe that's the option. <laughs> So I just try it. Because wrap mode, I know what wrap mode does, and I know it wasn't that. So it's just like, maybe filter mode is the option I'm looking for. And hey, look at that, it was. So, all right, that's actually really helpful. Because now, because um, I know I don't want a very detailed map for this game. I know it's, I like, um, I'm basically going to, like, it's going to be like, it's not just going to be like a black and white checkerboard grid or anything like that. But I, I'm basically like, I want, I think, I know I want like a few terrain types, or I'm thinking I want a few terrain types. I want like land, like, you know, like stable ground. I want probably like, vacant pits so that uh, so that we can have the character jump um, although with orthographic camera it's going to be a little interesting to depict jumping but well, I'll figure that out um, I might so I might switch to perspective cam uh, in order to get if, if I'm going to go with jumping or maybe I just won't have jumping um, so uh yeah, so then I'm thinking, like, probably, like, water or some sort of, like, hazardous terrain. And then, uh, yeah, so it'll just be, it'll just be, like, it'll all just be very, like, simply represented. So, like, they'll just be, like, a color that represents ground, a color that represents, like, water, and uh, so on and so forth. And then if, I might add, like, small detail. I might want to add small detail. But again, if I, if I really need to add those things, I can add them. Uh, I'm just glad that, that this is working so far. All right, so let's put this back to zero, zero. Uh, and 
Yeah, so... I guess, uh... Huh. When I make orthographic projects, I tend to just leave them at, with Y as, like, the, uh, the zeroed out value. But I guess... I guess there's no reason I couldn't use Z instead. I mean, like, a little more sense. Oh, wait, no. No, no, no. That's... No, it's... it's Oh, right now. Yeah, so <laughs> the way, like, the, the way the world think, or, like, so the way, the, yeah, the way the uh, scene, or Unity, like, considers the scene to be arranged, like, by its coordinates, and I guess a sensible way to think about them, by these coordinates is that, like, the, the, the map, the, the world map is going to stand a little bit vertical, so, but, I mean, I kind of want to want it to represent a flat ground, but using the X and Y coordinates are, I guess, what I want, so I'll, I'll leave it as that. I was thinking of, like, literally, literally, like, flipping it from, like, you know, downwards and, like, putting the camera above it, but I think we're actually just going to leave it, like, like this and <laughs> whatever. <laughs> and we'll just use the, I mean, it's, it's all just, like, it's all just relative to the coordinate system, so, yeah. Um, all right, so we'll, so now, uh, so, okay, we have our background, so that's cool. I mean, we'll have to actually, like, fill in the grid, like, texture appropriately, but it's, we have something to start with. Uh, We'll want, um, hmm. yeah, I guess we'll, want, prob we'll probably want to, okay, so, right, so this is a background, uh, so let's add a new, uh, let's also just add another quad for the, the character, the, the robot character, the your character, um, and this will just be like the, it, it, might, it might literally just be represented as a pixel, it'll be like a, um, uh, let's put it slightly, forwards or towards the camera so that it, it renders on top and this is orthographic so it's like fairly arbitrary like what that value is because like it's not going to get bigger or smaller relative to the camera that's how orthographic works uh, so one or five I guess I don't know either of those arbitrary values are fine uh, so actually you know what? I'm going to leave the hero at zero I'm not, or, sorry the last project I worked on the character is called hero so I'm probably going to probably gonna accidentally call this character hero a lot. Um, I'm just gonna move the background back a little bit. All right, so the hero is sitting at the zero coordinate and that's, I don't know, I just tend to think of of like the the game, like the natural state to be like the zero coordinate. So, all right, uh, let's, I, I, I'll probably wanna make like an actual texture for this dude at some point, but for now, yeah. No, I'm not going to worry about like art now, but um, I will make a new material for, uh, for, uh, I'm going to call it like who, I guess, because, I don't know, whatever. I'm just, I'm making arbitrary decisions quickly because I'm <laughs> very time constrained for this. Uh, so, I don't think I'm going to do like pixel art, I don't think. Uh, I'm, well, like. I'm not gonna do pixel art, but I'm th I think I'm actually going to use like very like simple shapes. So like, um, like here's another game that I worked on before, and like these are not like pixels per se, but like they're very just like blocky representational shapes. So I think I'm probably going to use a similar aesthetic uh, that I used on this project. Sorry, I won't actually play this game for too long, but whenever I <laughs> whenever I come here to <laughs> into my site just to mention like this game. I don't know, I like it, and I don't play it very often. The only time I ever think to play it is <laughs> when I'm coming to my site to, <laughs> to show it, because I'm... All right, last, this is the last one, I say. Um, all right, hold on. We're almost there. Almost done. All right, this is a good one. I, I have a good feeling. Oh, yeah, look at this. All right, we just need a... Here we go. Here we go, we got this. Uh, 50 points, bam. All right, <laughs> we're done. <laughs> we're done. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Okay. Right, uh, we're making it the hero character texture. <laughs> and so it'll be, yeah, it'll be like, uh, the hero will be slightly smaller than the grid, I think, so that way, uh, so that way you can see, like, what is the terrain type that you're standing on at any given time. So, uh, other than that, it'll probably just be, like, a, sh a color shape. But the way omelet textures work, you, there's, for some reason, and, yeah, in Unity, like, you, if you have, like, an unlit, uh, if you have an unlit texture, uh, like here, if we go uh, unlit, there's no, there's no just unlit, unlit like, there's no just standard unlit like, uh, 
you consider like texture to be like the standard unlit you can't just like choose a color for it which i don't know would be nice like with standard diffuse textures you can just choose a color so like if i was if i was gonna use lighting in the scene and all i wanted to do is make this texture a specific color i could do it that way but yeah for some reason using unlit you have to uh you have to come up with a texture for it so <laughs> i have to just make like a, bl a randomly blank texture apparently i guess uh so uh, wait, no, uh, file new I guess I'll also make this one 64 by 64, because I, I don't know, that's just an arbitrary number. Uh, what, uh, what's up? Uh, I hope, I hope everything's still working, like, I hope, like, technically things are not broken and stuff. It'd be cool if that were the case. Uh, <laughs> uh, uh, I'm sorry, I'm, I'm just, I'm just... Like, uh, I haven't, just because I haven't seen anything in chat in a while, I'm like, I'm like nervous that like, maybe things have gone wrong. I'm just gonna, uh, I'm just gonna pull up the, the stream, <laughs> the stream on my other device, uh, just so that, um, at least, uh, at least I'm not like nervous about it. <laughs> just to, uh, to take my mind off of it, that's all. Alright, so, that's, uh, that's set up there now. So, now you guys don't have to tell me if, uh, if anything goes wrong technically. Although if you do if you do experience any technical difficulties, please please do let me know. Um, I was saying this might be a robot character, so I'm probably just gonna go with it. Uh, <laughs> thank you. Uh, <laughs> I hope you're talking about V-Box, because uh, <laughs> if you are. <laughs> Sorry, I optimistically. Uh, hey, uh, Marius OTV, welcome to the stream. Uh, thank you for uh, thank you for tuning in. Um, <laughs> if you're just being <laughs> facetious about the game we're working on, um, I'll let you know. I do very much appreciate that. Uh, <laughs> in fact, I find that hilarious. On the off chance that you're referring to B-Box, um, I didn't make that for the jam. That was a game I made, uh, over the summer. Um, it's like one of my portfolio projects. I did make it in a, about a week. I think, hey, uh, Mario's TV, thank you for following. Uh, welcome to the party. I appreciate your viewership. Um, <laughs> so, uh, yeah, all right. <laughs> On the off chance that you're not being facetious and you actually do think that Ayama is going to be a cool game and you're basing it entirely just off of what I've said and not what you've seen so far, <laughs> thank you for that as well. Because, uh, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's going to be great, I assure you. That whether you're facetious or not, that statement about this, this game being awesome will be true by the, uh, by the end of this weekend. Probably. I don't know. We'll see. How <laughs> so, alright, let's save this. Uh, so this is just, uh, who, who is the name of a robot? Uh, it might be like, it might actually be like HW0 or something, if I decide that it is a robot. But for now, I'm just calling it who, because like I said, I'm just, I'm just trying to make arbitrarily fast decisions, so as not to get waylaid very early in the project, which is something that I tend to do when I jam, so hopefully we can, uh, avoid that somewhat. Um, you. So, uh, <laughs> um, cool. Yeah, actually, that's uh, that's that's yeah. Part of that's like probably the biggest reason that I stream is that I <laughs> hey, the lags. How's it going? That and uh, to you, Ada. Thank you for <laughs> thank you everyone for tuning in. Yeah, I um, I'm in public. I'm like on location, so I figured I should probably wear a shirt, right? I don't know. I don't want to get kicked out because then I don't know. That'd be that would be very disappointing. Then what would I do with the rest of my weekend? Um, yeah, so, say I'm working in Unity, and part of the reason I stream is that I want, um, like, I don't know, I wish when I was, uh, learning all this stuff, oh, I'm gonna name my stuff so it doesn't get messy. Uh, this would be grid, uh, math. Um, all right, so, uh, oh, and this would be who <laughs> underscore math. Um, uh, yeah, part of the reason I stream is that I, I, I don't know, if I wasn't streaming, I'd be doing the same thing anyways, so, like, why not stream, and then, like, people, if they find it entertaining, um, I'm, oh, so, uh, yeah, if they, so, it's to finish that thought, if they find it entertaining, then that's cool, and if they find it educational, then that's also super cool, so, yeah, I'm glad that you, you can get something out of this. Um, I'm on location, so there's, yeah, local office, um, I, I'm, I, like, live in the Boston area, and so this is, like, a local gym. Um, some some offices in the area put up their their office space for the day, for today and tomorrow. It's not going overnight, so there's going to be a break in my stream schedule. Um, 
at around uh, so like in in like seven seven hours or so uh, I have to I have to pack up here and then I'm gonna I'm gonna hurry home uh, I'm probably gonna I'm probably gonna take a break to eat uh, or you know do the stuff that, <laughs> that won't be interesting on camera that I need to do in order to stay alive as a biological entity um, and then um, but then as soon as I get home I'm gonna do an overnight stream and that'll probably go for like I think like 10 hours probably maybe uh, there's gonna be a lot of caffeine involved for that one and then uh, and then tomorrow and then so then another two hour break and then I'll be ba I'll be back here uh, again tomorrow to to uh, finish up the project and yeah so we have that so that's our time frame for the str for streaming this weekend and also to, for this entire project so yeah start to finish this project will be done on stream th those two hour breaks I won't be working on the project uh, yes that is also <laughs> an important part of the plan. <laughs> Cause like I don't know, it's just um, my friends asked me about this too, <laughs> and like I didn't have a good answer. But it's just like I don't like I work from home now, so like <laughs> why why wear clothes? If you don't work from home. <laughs> That's silly. Clothes are just things you wear for other people. <laughs> Anyways, race. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Sorry. Um, all right, so we have now we have a material for who, and this is gonna be who. This will be our. This is this is us. This is our representational character in the game. Oh, like I said, I want him to be slightly smaller than the grid size, just so that um, you can see what type of grid, uh, what is like the grid space that you're you're standing on at any time. So I'm gonna put it down to like 0 .08, 0 .08, 0 .08, 0 .08. Hey, we got a, a new follower, uh, Valixo. Thank you for following. Thank you for tuning in. Uh, welcome to the party, and I appreciate your viewership. Um, so. Uh, yeah, for anyone who just tuned in, I'm probably going to be like reiterating this. Is yeah, right. So, uh, so the theme of this jam, uh, I'm probably going to mention this. Like, well, for one thing, I'm still like, you know, I only found out the theme. Uh, well, it's been like an hour since I found out the theme, but um, you know, still like processing it, still trying to figure out exactly what I want this project to be based on the theme. The theme of the jam. It, I'm sorry, I'm really like yellow for some reason on camera. I feel really yellow. <laughs> no, that's bad. <laughs> Maybe it's just the backdrop, the light reflecting off the wall. Anyways, uh, <laughs> um, so uh, the Felix, uh, uh, thank you. Uh, yeah, thanks for uh, tuning in. Um, the, right, so the theme is. Oh, is that, did I get less yellow? Uh, I'm sorry. Um, the theme of the jam is disguises. Disguises. Uh, it's you know somewhat appropriate for this month being October. Halloween's right around the corner. Uh, but I'm not gonna. I don't think I'm gonna go. Well. <laughs> Earlier, I was like, I was raving about how Costume Quest is my favorite game in the world, and uh, if I, if I could, I would just make Costume Quest. <laughs> but someone already did that. Double Fine beat me to it, so uh, I don't have to make Costume Quest because that game exists already, and they did a fine job of it. And uh, so no, so um, so the theme is disguises. And the way I want to play off that is to, so it'll be very literal at first. It'll be it'll, so you're this, yeah. So the reason I'm thinking that you might be a robot is that. Um, the disguises that you get might be actual like modules, uh, like actual hardware for your robot. So, um, I don't know. Like, I guess I'm like kind of playing with the theme of disguises and that like, you know, disguise is something that you like put on to change who you are or change others' perception of you. Although in like the robot's case, like, uh, although like the robot might affect a disguise, you know, sort of like the disguise is actually entirely functional. Uh, which, oh yeah, so, I mean, I guess, like, the reason I, I came to this place is because, like, you know, games like Costume Quest and, and Kirby, kind of, but more so, like, Kid Chameleon, I don't know if you ever played that game, it was, like, for the, what was it, for the Sega Genesis, I think, way back in the day, um, like, the, uh, they, they, yeah, this is, like, an established idea, it's, like, about, it's about, like, disguises that you put on that actually, like, affect who you are. Um, and I like that idea because I, I think that actually, I mean, it's like a, it's a it's kind of like a video game trope, uh, but it's also uh, well, I don't know if it's a trope, but it's like you know, it's just, it's an established thing. It's been done before multiple times, um, but I think it's also something that's like kind of true about real life. And uh, as, as I was saying earlier, is that like uh, I won't go philosophical for too long, but just to summarize, like um, you know, we kind of like project who we want to be, uh, even if like we don't like. If we don't like have that like 100% confidence in ourselves, like we kind of like we put on who we we need uh, like how we how we need the world to perceive us or how like we aim for the world to perceive us, and then we kind of like become what we project just uh, through that through that initial like 
facade that we put up. Um, uh, so the, yeah, those are like the ideas that I want to work with. And um, so then the, the way that translates into the game where is actually fairly simple. So like basically, yeah, basically you start out as a very primitive robot, um, uh, and you can find these modules, these disguises, and uh, they'll they'll bestow some more uh, more power, more they'll bestow ability to your uh, uh, character, and and so then I'm thinking I want it to be that like the more you. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's very, like, it's not, like... Well, so, okay, so part of the reason I can't describe the game exactly is because I still only have ideas about what what I want the game to be. I don't actually have, like, the game ideas, really. Like, I could not describe the mechanics to you right now very well. I mean, I think I, the mechanics that I'm thinking uh, I, I'll probably have are actually very simple. I'll, I'll hope to do more with this, but it's a jam, so who knows how much I'll actually accomplish. The Yeah, the mechanics are going to be very simple. Um, so, yeah, so just describe it in a very, like matter-of-fact way. Uh, here is your character. Uh, your character is on a grid. It's a little hard to tell that it's a grid right now because, whoops, uh, whoop, no. <laughs> it's a little hard to tell that it's a grid right now because uh, there are no dots, but like, uh, yeah, so like, I don't know, it's roughly, like, wait, hold on. <laughs> 26, 26, no, wait, what? Oh, negative 26. Uh, negative 26. Um, right, so you, you, I don't know, 2, 0.5, I guess. Uh, <laughs> derp, uh, 0.5, uh, 0.5, I don't know. All right, so yeah, basically you're on a, uh, all right, so then like 27 maybe. Okay, you're on a grid. Look, look how, look how on a grid you are. Um, and so like, the, yeah, the mechanics of the game will basically just be like, uh, you click on the top area of the screen and, or like you click above your character and you move one square upwards. You click over here and you move one square to the side you move over here and you move one square to the other side and then you move, click down here and yeah you get the idea of the control scheme um the the grid will represent various various terrain types so uh in order to cross over some terrain you'll need uh you'll need to get specific modules i guess it's going to be a puzzle game i guess is what i'm trying to say uh because like i don't know essentially i guess there'll probably be like a goal and uh and then you try and get to the goal I want to make it. Oh, I kind of want to make the, the levels procedural. In no, I might just have to do. I don't like level design, <laughs> or I should say I prefer systems design. But uh, sometimes, like for the scope of the project, I might only actually have time just for level design, for like manual level design. It'd be nice if I could do something procedural, but uh, I haven't done very like <laughs> basically anything yet. So I should probably do basically anything, huh? Um, so yeah, uh, let's, let's uh, like I was saying, let's let's uh, implement that control scheme, I guess. And I, uh, for now, I'm gonna I'm just gonna put like a big stupid grid. Uh, yeah, no, right? <laughs> Everyone's favorite part. Um, yeah, for starters, I'm just gonna make the grid big and stupid. Uh, I'm not that stupid, but like, uh, <laughs> I'm not that big either. <laughs> but um, just uh, just so that we actually have that that sense of space. Uh, uh, yeah, so I think the first thing I'll put in is, like I was saying, the control scheme. So, um, for starters, let's, uh, let's have uh, something like that, and then do something like this, and then something like this. <laughs> yeah, I did not think that through. Uh, all the way. Uh, Uh, yeah, no, I'm not going to do this for the entire thing, just enough so that we have some space to, to move around on. And uh, actually, I guess if I was smarter, I probably would have put in a few... Uh, a few I'm just going to put in a few points, for, just to, for like relative uh, space, so that we can tell like we're actually translating appropriately. Uh, so I'm just going to make a few arbitrary tiles like a different color just so that like as we move around we can see these tiles uh shift around and, and we'll know that we're actually like moving in the correct direction and because like you know if the if the grid is just like completely flatly uh oh wow these colors are atrocious oh that hurts my eyes <laughs> so I'm definitely gonna have to change that um uh, i'll just change it to hopefully this will be less offensive no that's that's not less offensive uh Ugh, what do I want to do here? <laughs> um, oh wait, I know what to do. Uh, 
image, brightness and contrast. Let's bring the, uh, the brightness up. Yeah, there you go. The contrast down. All right, that's, <laughs> that's less offensive to my eyes. Although the green is still not, not delightful, it's, so let's tone that down a little bit. Uh, it's like just, I don't know, this, hopefully this is better. All right, this, <laughs> all right, uh, I won't go, I'll go less insane working with this uh, scheme, this color scheme than, than I will with the other one. Uh, all right, so, uh, oh yeah, then the other thing, let's, um, let's cause we're, we're gonna be working, we're gonna be starting primarily in like the center of the map, so let's, uh, <laughs> awesome. I basically rep uh, rep recreated the, <laughs> the the natural backdrop of, of paint.net, but um, let's uh, <laughs> invert selection uh, and just turn that back to white for now. All right, so this is our, this is our backdrop now. And so now when we go into the game, we'll have some semblance of a backdrop. Uh, yeah, there we go. Oh, right, except... Uh, Oh, right, yeah. So we want it to be, I guess, offset by like 0.5, just because uh, otherwise the, uh, the exact center is not a square, it's uh, something else. Uh, all right, so yeah, this, wait, why did, uh, how did so many squares turn like bluish? Why are so many, is that what that texture actually looks like? Yeah, why did all those squares turn bluish? What's that about? That's weird. I guess that that must have happened when we uh, when we adjusted like the brightness and contrast. But woof. Anyways, uh, <laughs> sorry the lag script. Um, yeah, hopefully, <laughs> hopefully this is a little more to me. I can actually tone it down even slightly further. Um, so uh, we're select uh, adjustments because we're only putting it there for like a sense of. Uh, a sense of space, so like we really don't need it to be, uh, we really don't need it to be like noticeable really much at all. So yeah, how about something like that? Oop, what, I think did I get to cancel? Uh, something like that. All right. Uh, yeah, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm not super concerned about it. I just was surprised by it. <laughs> because I didn't think I had done anything that would affect that. For the actual project, we'll want to, um, we'll actually want to put in like a, gr oh, yeah. Hmm. Oh, that's going to be weird. Maybe I will want to, uh, yeah, you know, I'll probably just, I'll probably not even use this, uh, this texture for the backdrop. I'll probably just use like a, uh, a tile-based um, thing because, like, I, the the yeah, because the backdrop is going to ascribe to like the rules of the game. So we'll have we'll need the like the title to be um, cognizant of how the uh, of like what the backdrop actually means. Um, yeah, I'm gonna leave it like that for now because we're just the first thing we're gonna do is make it so that the guy moves around a little bit. Uh, so to do that, uh, all right, yeah, so. Let's work with the input system. Uh, just trying to think how to do this. Um, yeah, so I think I think we want the control scheme to be that um, if we uh, if you press, yeah. So you, you like you move by pressing on any uh, you know air, uh, any like direction relative to the. Uh, to the, the the your character, so like uh, so if you click like to on the, the left area here, or this is the right. Sorry, <laughs> I'm not good with that. If you click on the right here, uh, I'm thinking. Oh, so okay, so the, for the controls, I'm thinking uh, nothing will happen immediately. If you press and hold, eventually your character will just start like moving, like you know, click 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 click, stepping in that direction. Um, although if you just like tap, then you'll move one square in that direction. Um, so for the tap, a, for the tap, it will be on, on like mouse up, quote unquote mouse up. Yeah, I'll probably use mouse up because we don't really need multi-touch for this game. Uh, it'll be on mouse up, um, that, that the character clicks over one step, uh, although mouse up 
will not like the, the the movement will not occur on mouse up if the movement has occurred while holding the mouse down. So like uh, so if you if you hold the mouse down in order to move, uh, you won't get an extra movement square when you release. So let's do that. Uh, I assume that will be fine. Uh, <laughs> let's see. Let's see if that's true. Um, yeah, I'm gonna parent the main camera, I guess, to our character. Uh, it'll probably change. At some point, it'll probably be. Yeah, actually, I'm gonna do it right now because I'm, <laughs> I'm fairly certain. Instead, I'm just gonna have like a, a main game object, uh, and then instead of um, instead of the main camera parented to the to the back, uh, there's there's both be parented to the main game object. Uh, all right, so I'm gonna put, just add a generic script here for uh, like movement. Um, although it'll actually probably end up doing a lot more than that. So um, this is just gonna be like essentially the primary script uh, file. I'm gonna I I don't tend to remember to save my scene, so I'm gonna save this scene as uh, as main, I guess. Also, uh, so all right, yeah. Uh, yeah, I, sh I should use Visual Studio. Oh, yeah, that was actually one of the things I was going to do. Because I, I, I mean, like, I have, like, in the... Hey, how's it going? Yeah, sure. Uh, <laughs> um, yeah, I do actually pref prefer Visual Studio, I think. I don't know. I miss working in it. I, I used to work in it, and I, I liked it when I did, so that would be nice. Uh, <laughs> uh, yeah, I'm not going to switch right now, but uh, that is something I should do. Thank you for reminding me. Um, uh, I'm just, just a little thing. Gonna wait. What? Oh wait. Why is that? Oh, cause it started out. All right. <laughs> That's funny. So everything's gonna get bigger for a second. Oops. Oh no. Oh right. No, not everything. Just this. Oh, the camera. That's funny. You can scale the camera, and I guess that just doesn't do anything. Anyways. Uh, yeah. I'm just gonna. I just want to just change the the scale of this because like the the edge around the hero I didn't like very much, so, uh, anyways, uh, zero, 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 oh, and this was <laughs> ten, I guess, because that distance got scale. that's interesting, uh, uh, this is, yeah, it was negative ten, sorry, anyways, uh, alright, so, uh, yeah, hmm. I'm just thinking, for the backdrop, I could, um, Backdrop. What a. Uh, what a. Uh, I guess. I might just have the backdrop to be like black or something. Or not the backdrop, but like the literal background of the camera. I'll, I'll make it dark gray for now. Because that'll. I guess. Like the. Uh, I'm probably. When I switch over to how the backdrop works to a tile system, I'll probably want. Um, I'll, I'll just, I might just leave squares empty for like the for like the vacant spaces, the ones that like are not any form of terrain, the ones that you'd have to jump over if you uh, are to traverse this. Um, Glitch H J, hey, how's it going? Welcome to the stream. Um, oh uh, yeah, just to mention, um, I think uh, I don't I don't think it's technically. I, I didn't read anything in the rules of this jam so that would say that you guys are not welcome to participate. So like, I think if you guys wanted to participate, I think that'd probably be okay. Uh, let me check, I, could, I can double check the rules to see if there's anything about like outside participation. But I mean like, there was no attendance taken. So like the difference between like being on site or off and, and like I'm allowed to work on this jam when I go home tonight. So like, I assume like people, like other people are allowed to contribute. And yeah, so if anyone wants to contribute, I'll, uh, I'll put your name in the credits and stuff. Well, I don't know how I'm gonna do credits, but uh, and any any place that like credit is uh, represented, I'll um, I'll <laughs> uh, <laughs> all right. <laughs> I could <laughs> I would switch it to R nine K, but I'm pretty sure uh, <laughs> I'm pretty sure the, this one optionship of, of hello is is like by. <laughs> Thank you, Kinetic. Um, <laughs> uh, where was he going? Oh, yeah, Purple Monkey. Monkey Game Jam. Yeah, so, um, yeah, I was just going to say, like, if anyone if anyone feels like getting involved in this project, I'm pretty sure that's okay. 
Um, yeah. Uh, I know, I know, like the other day, what was it? On Tuesday, we, we did a collaborative jam on stream. <laughs> we did a three hour jam, and the result was a S -R -S -L -Y -Z, uh, Fina. <laughs> <laughs> it was the game, the game that we made in a, in a few hours on, a, <laughs> on, a, on Tuesday. Uh, if anyone's interested in playing it, it's a srsly.bz slash fino. Uh, this, was, this was a jam where the theme of the jam was uh, food I never ordered. And so <laughs> I don't know if we really executed on that. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if you really executed on the theme exactly or executed on the idea exactly, but the idea is that um, you're an adventurer uh, who makes pizzas and delivers the pizzas to unsuspecting bystanders. <laughs> so, uh, yeah. <laughs> that was that. Um, I, I, was, I was actually tempted this week to, to go back to this game and, and like make it the at least the idea that I, uh, I had in mind. I might still do that at some point, I might revisit it. Because I think it actually would be a fun idea if it was done just even slightly better. Um, there's just like a few core things, like this egg, for example. <laughs> this, <laughs> this is my very fast attempt at making a dough icon, and then a, uh, oh yeah. <laughs> um, <laughs> I'll put the link in chat. It, I, um, it only runs in browser right now, but uh, I, if I, yeah, I could make an Android version of it. <laughs> um, I, I don't understand that comment enough to know whether that comment is racist, but because of the, because we're on that topic, just to point out, like racism is an auto ban in this. Uh, in this chat room, so anything, any content that is literally racist will, uh, will, will get you blocked super fast, uh, just, just to mention. Uh, <laughs> um, so, yeah, I think, uh, I think, so right, that was the game that we made on Tuesday, and like, I don't know, I, I was involved in, in making that, uh, in making the, uh, that game, of course, I did a lot of, like, the, the actual, like, like, hand to keyboard like implementing of, of features but it was also a very collaborative effort because like I mean like the stuff that we came up with in chat on Tuesday was just like you know we wanted to make a clicker and we wanted to make it an adventure game it was supposed to be an adventure game like I said we really didn't deliver on it um but uh <laughs> yeah <laughs> that was the aesthetic that we were going for actually it was uh, <laughs> uh <laughs> That, I'm glad we. I'm glad, I'm glad we really delivered on that. It was a uh, lion. I forget which numbers are in his name, but uh, lion. One of our, our viewers on Tuesday. He made a bunch. Made basically all of the art uh, assets for that project. He made. Uh, he made the icons. I made the dough icon, which looks like an egg. Which is, I guess, <laughs> this one's mine. That's why it doesn't look good. But the other ones were uh, were lions. He made the. Uh, he made the, the shirt textures and the, the textures of the the people's faces and stuff. Um, <laughs> yeah, so if I ever revisited that project, which I kind of want to, um, for one thing, I'd give uh, I'd give the the characters two legs instead of just one. <laughs> and uh, oh, I'd also make it. I, I want to. Um, this is, so I, I mentioned earlier. I'm really bad at jams because I never stay on track, and I I end up like running out of time like hardcore. But uh, yeah, if I if I went back and revi I mean, it's what happened with this game. That's why it's not as I will now describe it. I, instead of having four buttons on the bottom, I think I want to have the buttons all stacked on top of each other, and they just appear in order. Like, uh, yeah, cheese, this cheese icon, Lion's uh, contribution. Uh, so yeah, the cheese, the, the sauce, the pepperoni, uh, the, the face, and the, the shirt texture all came from Lion. Um, I'm trying to think of those. Uh, yeah, the, so yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I once I become an uh, iOS developer, I'm not registered yet, and I don't have a Mac to compile it. But once I become one, like I'll, I'll release this project. I mean, I need Lion sign off because because uh, Lion came up with uh, a bunch of the assets. But yeah, if we could. <laughs> that's totally doable. 
Uh, oh, what did I do? Oh, right, it hid uh, backgrounds. Uh, Alright, so yeah, as I was saying about this project, uh, oh, oops. The, uh, the character looks like a hole. <laughs> like, it looks like there's it looks like there's a hole in this face. It doesn't look like the character's standing on this face. Um, not important, but I'm gonna lighten this color. Or lighten this, uh, this, uh, shade just slightly. Uh, can't make it too light, because our background is <laughs> really light now. <laughs> just, uh, alright, anyways. Uh, I think, I think ultimately the, the, uh, yeah, yeah, okay, so that'd be another thing I would add, is there, I would add some, some, like, diversity to the cast of Fina. Oh, <laughs> thank you, little extras. <laughs> yeah, I, I, for the dough icon, I just want to, like, flatten a little bit so it doesn't look like an, an, uh, an egg anymore. <laughs> so, yeah, that, that's one of the things I would do. I'd put all the buttons on top of each other so it'd be more like a clicker game where you could just, like, click, 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 click. You wouldn't have to actually, like aim for the buttons and then also I would add like a leveling up system so that like it would be like a well I want to I want to have like critical clicks so like sometimes when you click you get two instead of just one but then I also want like a level up system where like you can actually like level up your character so that every click is worth two and then crits are worth like four and like yeah um so uh uh that was Fino I am a uh the game that we're Working on now uh, is a game. Uh, so this is sort of the jam. Uh, I'll I'll uh, I'll talk about it as a uh, as a implement. Um, this is gonna be a game about like a robot character who. Cl this, so the, the theme of the jam. Yeah. Right. So yeah, that that was actually the, the original inspiration for the project. Is uh, Fino was supposed to be a clicker, except instead of uh, cookies, it's pizza. So not that original. And the pizzas actually look a little bit like cookies. So uh, I, I do have some ideas that would that would diversify it slightly. Uh, <laughs> but yeah, it, it's supposed to be a clicker from the start, so, yeah. Um, <laughs> uh, Ayama, the project that we're working on now, is for a jam, the theme is disguises, and, uh, oh, I think, I think it's lunchtime here. <laughs> I'm not that hungry, though, so I'll probably work through it. Um, uh, Ayama is, uh, Ayama is, uh, yeah, a game, so the, the theme is disguises, and so the game is probably going to be like about a robot that collects modules like the modules are the disguises they change like who the robot is kind of uh who they change who the robot is <laughs> that sounds like a weird sentence but anyways uh yeah and then um and then so the, you uh the, the the modules also uh they're just they're not real names they're just the code names for the projects uh fino uh is just Food I Never Ordered. It's the acronym F-I-N-O, Food I Never Ordered. Uh, and then Ayama is, the game's about, like, a robot that, like, changes who they are. So it's, like, I am uh, dot, dot, dot. And, and what, what the robot is will change. And it might not be a robot, but, like, the, the character changes, like, over the course of the game. And so the game is about what the robot is or what the character is. Uh, right, so the first thing that we're going to do... Uh, this is, this is like what I was talking about, how like I waste so much time at the beginning of the jam. So like, <laughs> I swear, like tomorrow's stream, like for the last like several hours, I'm just gonna be like frantically like, yeah, uh, uh. <laughs> uh, but I can laugh about it now because <laughs> it's not happening yet. Uh. <laughs> yeah, glitch H do it. That is fantastic. That is really great. <laughs> Incidentally, um, the next game that I'm making, not, not this one, but like the next project that I'm making, um, is gonna be uh, a game that you can play on stream. Because like it occurred to me, like I stream and I make games. I should make a game that you can play on stream. Uh, all right, so <laughs> thank you, The Lag Script. I'm gonna give you the, the Lag Script. If there's like a credit section, I'm gonna give you producer credit because <laughs> this is very helpful, in fact. All right, so uh, if uh, mouse, or no, input, input, uh, uh, get mouse button down. No, we don't have to do anything on mouse button down. Uh, yeah, no, we don't have to do anything on that. Uh, uh, lion, hey, we were just talking about these. Uh, 73, uh, lion, one, two, three. Um, 
Uh, right. Well, no, we were just talking about uh, food I never ordered, and uh, I, was, I was talking about how you made like a bunch of the assets for that game. Uh, uh, who is it? Uh, we're, and we were talking about how uh, we can... Uh, we can... Uh, <laughs> uh, we should, uh, yeah, Glitch HD Ray was saying that we should release the game for, for iPad. Uh, <laughs> Glitch HD Ray was also saying that, uh, <laughs> that, uh, <laughs> that he might stream, stream, you know, which would be pretty awesome. Um, yeah, Lion, uh, here was, uh, was our lead artist for the project, so. <laughs> Uh, yeah, thanks for thanks. Thank you so much for for your contribution to that project, and thank you for tuning in. It's great to see you again. Um, yeah, we're jamming now, so we're gonna make a uh, we're gonna make a. Uh, I'll show you, I'll go back to the game board in a little bit. Right now, we're making it. We're putting in uh, a control system so that we can have the the character move around, and we'll have to expand this at some point to because there'll be limitations about how the character can move. But um, for starters, we'll just put this in. So input um, dot get mouse button. Uh, yeah, just that one. Um, uh, so if input ticket, oh no, we do, okay, okay, sure, we do have to we have to do mouse button down because we have to start timing when uh, when uh, so it, hold on. Well, I mean, this is gonna be like our input block, so I'll just I'll uh, else if uh, input get mouse button zero. Uh, Actually, I probably should make these elves, because like sometimes with like, well, I don't, nah, whatever. It'll just be. I f I'm, not, I'm actually not 100 percent whether these operate as like functional elves, like if these are your exclusive cases or, um, <laughs> or <laughs> if these uh, if these are otherwise. I th like I only started recently using these uh, correctly. I used to. Um, I've been using. Uh, i have been using uh, fixed update instead of update, and uh, yeah, input is input is supposed to work on, on update timing, not on fixed update timing. So uh, get a mouse button up. Uh, yeah, we'll need to we'll, we'll need we'll have stuff happening in all of these cases. So um, uh, so yeah, let's put in uh, press uh, time. This will be a float. Uh, <laughs> Isn't press time when, uh, when, when like a, a, a newspaper article is published? <laughs> press time, as of press time, uh, or like when important things are announced. Anyways, uh, uh, we'll have a public float for uh, press delay uh, or press hold delay, and the I don't know that'll be like uh, point five seconds maybe zero point five seconds because we want. Uh, when you press down, we don't want the character to start moving immediately. Uh, we want a slight delay, and then after the delay, we'll have a public float uh, press hold uh, cooldown. And that's that. This will be the. Uh, it'll probably be like 0 0.25. Oh, f uh, 0. Point, uh, so like yeah. So this. Uh, so when you press down, there'll be a, a slight delay. It'll probably be around 0.5 seconds, and then the character will start moving over. And then the character will move over every point, every like press hold cooldown, uh, which will be probably like every approximately every point two five seconds. Oh yeah, thank you. Uh, yeah. <laughs> so that's the yeah that's the game we made on Tuesday for just an impromptu jam. Like we were just bored, and I was like, "What do you guys want to do?" And we decided to, <laughs> to make a game. <laughs> um. <laughs> Glitch HD Ray. Uh, <laughs> you, uh, you have some amazing contributions to chat. <laughs> uh, <laughs> oh, yeah, right. Yeah, it, it requires the Unity web player, I don't, uh, which it's not perfect. I guess um, apparently Unity is working on a way to print or like to export to HTML5 or build for HTML5 instead, which will be really nice. Uh, <laughs> I think, I hope, I don't know. Cause like, I guess, yeah, I like the web, Unity web player, but not everyone has it installed, so. Uh, <laughs> that's totally doable. Um, yeah, I wanna, so yeah, some of the things, 
uh, I'm really not using my time well, but one of the things that I want to do on my stream coming up, some, probably sometime in early November, I want to do like kind of something like how we made Fino, and kind of something like this too, but I want to do it like on a slightly larger, a slightly longer time scale. Uh, specifically, I want to do that so that um, so we can have more user input. I think like I think on a really tight schedule, um, it's a lot harder for any one person to like have their voice represented in the game. Um, uh, <laughs> uh, and so yeah, I, I kind of want. I, so I definitely want to do more jams on stream. Definitely, that was actually one of the, the. That was like one of the first things I like really wanted to do when I started getting into streaming. I was like, why is no one doing this? Or like, why haven't I found other people doing this yet? Uh, maybe other people are doing it. I haven't found it. I haven't seen it before. Um, and they're not, certainly not doing it often enough. So yeah, I, I definitely want that to happen more. And like yeah. Um, oh yeah, Lion. Uh, I'm. I was looking at the rules of today's jam. I mean, I guess I could just ask an organizer, but. I'm also fairly certain that like uh, the jam that I'm in currently, like if you guys ha if you guys want to participate, like if you guys want to join this team, uh, I think I feel like that'd be okay. I don't know. I could check if if anyone if anyone wants to participate but doesn't feel comfortable participating with just my um, with just my assumption without like official uh, word. I could go check with the organizers, but like I feel like it's probably going to be okay. Um, so yeah, if if anyone does want to participate, feel free to. Uh, just shout it out, do whatever, like get heard, get uh, get loud if you need to. Um, I mean, be polite in chat, but uh, I am. Um... <laughs> I for the project that I'm working on now, I'm not working in Unity. I'm just using Python, and I wanted to use Hacks instead, but I don't think it. I couldn't find I, one of my other projects, like not not uh, for this, <laughs> not for this jam, um, but. Uh, the other pro like the other real project that I'm working on, I don't know. Uh, it's uh, I'm making it in Python, and uh, actually the the <laughs> the other project that I'm working on is my October challenge or my 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 uh, game for the Ludum Dare October challenge, <laughs> um, uh, which is not this one, but um, yeah, it's gonna be a chatbot for Twitch. Well, it's gonna be it's gonna it's gonna run using um, Twitch chat as the interface. It'll basically be a chatbot, um, and uh, there'll be more to it, but it, yeah. Uh, and I couldn't figure out how to do that in Hacks. Uh, I'm a little jealous, though, because I, I would like to work in Hacks. I don't know. It's, I've just heard such great things about it that I want to get to it. All right, so for uh, so now we have that, now we have our variable. So uh, the first thing, let's say um, float. Uh, oh, yeah, so press time. Uh, so... Uh, So I'm, now I'm thinking about the case where you like press and like smooch your finger away. So um, I, I guess I do want to do, I want to allow people to escape having pressed something. So uh, I'm going to put in a position also, uh, flow, uh, or not flow, vector three. I mean, I guess I could do vector two, but I won't <laughs> for whatever reason. No, there is a reason. Uh, it's because um, because I'm gonna use like screen rays, which come back as vector threes. Uh, all right, so uh, press pause uh, equals nothing. It doesn't have to equal anything. All right, so on mouse up and down, we're going to say uh, press uh, time. Uh, actually. Uh, let's let's say float. I might use press time, but I, I, more than that, I want to use press uh, move time. So I actually might not use press time. Uh, and I actually I might as well stop caring about it until I think I need it. Uh, pr or press move time. Uh, right. So press move time equals. Oh. Uh, yeah. I'm also gonna do pool. Uh, Bool, uh press moved uh, equals false. Uh, all right, so when you press press move time uh, equals uh, time dot time plus uh, press hold delay. So press hold delay. Why did you not show up? I don't know. Whatever. Uh, did I forget? Oh yeah, right. Uh, press move time equals zero. No, it doesn't have to equal anything. Anyways, uh... oh cool. <laughs> oh my god! 
<laughs> yeah, if anyone wants to go watch Glitch HD Ray instead, I would totally understand. <laughs> because, apparently, hold on, wait, I'll, I'll actually, no, don't go anywhere. I'm just going to pull it up here. <laughs> uh, <laughs> <tw> <laughs> Let's see. Glitch HD, right? Uh, <laughs> here it goes. Oh, it's gonna show a. Uh, it's gonna. <laughs> Whoa! How is Fino in the games database? Oh, sorry, I'm just gonna close this so it doesn't show the advertisement on stream. How did you, uh. How did you get Fino in the games database? I've, I've never. I, uh, I, uh, I've, I was never sure how the how the games database worked. When for some reason, like, like when I tried to change like the the game setting, I uh, it uh, are you still showing an advertisement? Yeah, no. All right. <laughs> yeah, that's was it in there already? Uh, yeah, I don't know how the uh, <laughs> I don't know how the. Uh, <laughs> All right, now I need to rearrange my, uh, <laughs> my I have to rearrange my desktop because uh, I need a. Oh wait, no, I, I know what to do. I'll just uh, yeah, wait. Uh, so wait, I'll just yeah, I'll make this with whatever size uh, it usually is. Oops. Uh, <laughs> and then uh, here we go. Wait, we got this. We can do this. All right, so whatever size it usually is. Uh, I'm gonna open a new window. I'm gonna move it over here. Uh, just for a second. Wait, hold on. Uh, or no, actually no, I can leave it. I can leave it here. Uh, all right, hold on. This is totally gonna work. We're doing stuff. We're doing amazing things here. Uh, window capture. Uh, Fino. Uh, window capture. Yeah, that's the right one. Inner window. Subregion. Select region. Uh, wait, wait. Why is that not working? Select region. How's it? Oh, huh. for some reason that's not working. Uh, I don't know, like 300, 500, 600. I don't I <laughs> know how that's going to look. But oh, oh, we can. <laughs> we can fix that. Uh, all right. <laughs> Sorry, I'm gonna mess up the screen for a minute. But um, yeah. Wait. What? Uh, hold on. Wait, we can do this. Uh, uh, <laughs> properties. So like that one was too far. That one was way too far. It's like 200, 300. All right. We're getting closer. Look at that. It's, ge <laughs> it's getting better. Uh, oh, I like watching ads because I. I don't, I don't watch ads, uh, I don't show ads on stream because I don't know how that all works. Like if like something licensed was used in an advertisement, I wouldn't want to accidentally use it on stream. Uh, so that's why I don't uh, show them on stream, but I watch ads because that's how, that's how services make money is by showing ads. So let them make money. If I enjoy a service, like I want that service to make money. Uh, all right, we're getting closer. <laughs> uh, I wish uh, I wish you would just let me select the region. Oh, there we go. That's working. Yeah, yeah there we go. <laughs> so, all right. Now we can put this uh, down here. Uh, yep. <laughs> Thank you, Glitch HDRA. <laughs> oh, whoops, it stopped updating when I minimized it. I can't minimize it. I just have to leave it in the background. <laughs> Thank you very much, Glitch HDRA. This is amazing. This is probably the best thing that we've ever done on stream before. So, thank you. I have to talk quiet for a minute because they're making like announcements outside and I don't want to be super obtrusive. Um, I just got really quiet in here all of a sudden. <laughs> this is literally the best thing. I'm so. <laughs> oh man. I, uh, <laughs> I'm just really, I'm just really happy with how this is turning out. 
Uh, <laughs> Alright, so, uh, so yeah, the things we want to do here, press move time, press moved, uh, equals false, um, anything else? Oh yeah, press pause, press, uh, pause, equals, oh, what is, this is, this is, uh, this is, it's like, I do it in, I do it in Fino, for example. So let me just uh, I always forget what the command is. It's like do it what project is it? B box. Yeah, I do it in B box, but whatever. I'll just go Fino. Is there a project there's a project where I do this really simply. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Thank you, Kinetic. <laughs> I would, uh, yeah. <laughs> I, um, I, I, I think there's a certain sense of accomplishment that can be gained from, from making a game that evokes such a strong <laughs> reaction. And, uh, I actually, I encourage you to do so. <laughs> I, <laughs> if, if Ungame Jam happens at a time when I can participate, I would totally participate in that too. <laughs> I, um, I'm sure there are plenty of games that deserve to get made. <laughs> um, but Fino's serving a purpose right now because, uh, I, uh, whoa, what is up with that? That's weird. Oh, right, I've been the wrong file. <laughs> I've been the scene, not the, uh, not the, uh, script. Uh, yeah, what is this? I always forget what it's called. It's like, uh, uh, camera main screen point to ray input mouse position. Right, because it comes off of camera. Alright, so, uh, wait, but actually, no, we don't want necessarily to be this. We want it to be like origin, I think. Uh, let's see what that does. Let's uh, print uh, press pause. Uh, Alright, see that. Uh, so right, nothing will actually happen yet, except I just want to see if we're getting the right coordinates out of, uh, out of this. Uh, no. Are we? Oh, yeah, we are. All right. Yeah, so we only really care about the first two coordinates, though. Uh. Oh, actually, I guess we could... We could actually just, ooh, yeah, maybe we don't want use, to use those coordinates. Maybe actually, we, maybe we might actually only want to use uh, pixel coordinates for a screen space. Uh, other pixel coordinates are integers. I don't like integers. <laughs> so, oh, but these coordinates are gonna move because like the, the hero moves around and so the camera's gonna move around. So these, coordinates are going to move around. So we probably should use the screen space rather than the world space. Alright, well we didn't need that anyways. Anyways. Uh, yeah, so no, instead of, so right, no, we don't need to do that at all. We can just use info.mouse position. Uh, on, although I'm going to comment this out, it's just so that in case I need it later, I'll remember at least how, it <laughs> how it's referenced. Camera.main.screenpointer. I really need to remember that. Anyways. Uh, yeah, just input dot mouse position. So uh, actually, I think input dot mouse position is a vector two, if I recall correctly. Uh, so let's see if this gives us weird errors. Yeah, because this will just give us like pixel coordinates like x and y. Yeah. Oh, and they're floats. Oh, good. Good then. Uh, anyways, okay, so, uh, <laughs> uh <laughs> um, um, I, what did you put on stream? <laughs> I was completely not paying attention. <laughs> if you made it so that I'm going to get, that I can't export this to YouTube, I'm going to be disappointed. <laughs> I've given you power, and with great power, it's not this great power, but if, 
with mediocre power comes mediocre responsibility. So I hope you will, uh, I hope you will use your, your powers for good. Uh, <laughs> I, oh man, I have no clue what, okay. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. That was gonna, that was gonna freak me out for a while. <laughs> I mean, like, I don't have any reason not to trust you, but, uh. <laughs> I don't know. Anyways, I just feel responsible. But anyway, okay. Um, so yeah, all right. So now we have uh, we have this coordinates that we can work with now. Uh, so yeah, we need uh, we need press pods. We also need uh, public float um, uh, press uh, uh, Oh yeah, I guess we could just do. Uh, Yeah. So, right. So, vec uh, so bool uh, stationary or er, uh, press press underscore stationary uh, equals false. No, equals true. It doesn't have to equal anything right now, actually. <laughs> uh, all right. So yeah, the other thing we want to do is uh, we can stop printing press pause. Although I might want to later. Anyways, uh, so press uh, stationary equals true. Um, so yeah, we're really doing very little in terms of like setting up the game at this point. I've just in, I've implemented enough enough UI systems to know the things that I'll want in order for this UI system to feel all right. Uh, so that's why so we're setting up this here. Uh, <laughs> um, <laughs> so. Uh, I don't know how <laughs> it sounds good. Uh, so was what was this gonna be? This was gonna be oh yeah press. Um, oh wow, oh wow. I <laughs> what have I done? <laughs> um. <laughs> I'm just adding a dis uh, claim, right? visible but uh <laughs> <laughs> I feel slightly better. <laughs> uh, <laughs> all right. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, this is uh, press, uh, press. No, in rate in screen ratio. 
uh, just like relative to the entire screen, uh, I don't know, like 0 0.05, no, point, yeah, point oh five maybe, 0 0.05 F, maybe, I don't know, it's public, I can see it. Um, this will be like how far you're, how far you can travel, like how far you can move the uh, mouse around while pressing and holding before it like cancels your action. Because like if you accidentally press in the wrong place, like the way you can cancel that is like to smudge your finger over and then release, um, and that'll be like that'll how you, that'll be, yeah that'll just, that's just like a, a, a little escape. Um, I don't know how far that distance should be relative to the screen space though. Uh, we do we should keep track of the screen though. So. Uh, Oh. Huh. On a mobile device, I guess technically you can rotate this, and so the screen dimensions could change while it's running. But I'm not going to worry about that yet. I think I'm just going to use a fixed orientation. Probably. Uh, and actually, it's not that you won't be able to, wouldn't be able to play the game sideways. You probably would be able to play the game sideways. The only difference is that the screen won't actually rotate when you turn the game sideways. Uh, so yeah, let's put those in as well. Oh, actually, I'll put it above here. So, uh, so uh, do I have to calculate that up front? I could I could just do it on the fly, I guess. Maybe. Yeah, whatever. I'll just do it on the fly. If it gets too, if I if I have to calculate it too frequently, then I'll. Um... No, I should. I should. Uh... I should, I should do it up front, because I actually will have to calculate this very frequently in the UI. So, uh, so actually, uh, so let's do public uh, flow uh, press uh, max, max disk uh, ratio. Uh, and this will be 0 0.05F. And uh, this doesn't have to be anything, because on start, we'll say, uh, We'll say uh, press uh, stationary max uh, dist equals uh, oh yeah. Do we want to base this on vertical distance or horizontal distance? I guess uh, I need to say screen dot uh, width. I guess we'll go with horizontal distance. Uh, times uh, this max dist ratio, <clears throat> and then uh, yeah, that way we can. Uh, <laughs> uh, Tom PhD, hey, how's it going? Welcome to the stream. Uh, thanks for tuning in. We're uh, we're jamming. We be jamming. Uh, <laughs> one thing. Every were you, were you there? For, I, I think you stopped in on Tuesday when we were making uh, when we were jamming on that. Uh, on that other game that you can kind of see down in the, the corner there. The, <laughs> the reason that's there is because um, Glitch HD Ray is, uh, or what, oh, it looks like it's, uh, looks like he's taking a break now, maybe. But uh, yeah, he was, he was <laughs> I'm actually, I'm streaming his stream within, <laughs> within this stream. <laughs> Just so, <laughs> so we can see him play. <laughs> so that's what that's about. Uh, but no, yeah, now we're working on a different game. Um, uh, I'm, work I'm in. A, I'm in. It's called the Purple Monkey Game Jam. I'm on location, which is why these are, this is not my sp my usual uh, lookout. And uh, yeah, the theme of the jam is disguises. So we're making a game about a robot who like disguises him. Or it might not be about a robot, but it's, it's going to be a game about uh, about like practical disguises, akin to like yeah. <laughs> 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 this is this. I might, we might be outdoing ourselves. This might be the best stream that I've ever been a part of, <laughs> and we've had some pretty good ones. So I don't I don't take that phrase lightly. Uh, I should hold up my end of the thing because I'm supposed to be making. We're supposed. I'm supposed to be participating in a jam right now. So I should, <laughs> I should probably be making a game. All right. Yeah, we're implementing the UI system, which is entirely practical because it's you know very important for like the the you know minimum viable. Uh, build that we could put out, but um, it's a little dry. It, it should get more interesting a little later. Uh, and I don't know if you've never implemented a UI system before, uh, this, or if you've never done one in Unity, then uh, 
uh, then uh, you, you might find this interesting as well. So uh, let's see. Uh, right. So right. Okay. So now, so now we know what our uh, distance, what our max distance for for uh, for wiggle room is uh, relative to our our screen size. So uh, I mean, I guess like. Yeah, no, what I said before about rotation, I think is going to be important. Let me, I'm just going to double check that that's even like a thing. Uh, build set, build settings, Android, uh, or player settings actually. Uh, oh yeah, allowed ori orientation. So we, like yeah, we don't, we don't, I pretty much, I should do this for all my projects because I basically only ever support portrait or reverse portrait. Ooh, I don't know if I even support reverse portrait. I should test that sometime. <laughs> I mean, I could do that now, but I'm, uh, I'll do that another time. Uh, yeah. I should test that. <laughs> Actually, for the jam, I might not even... Well, I did bring my device with me, so I... I I'm, yeah, I might, I might actually compile for Android for this, uh, for the purpose of this jam. Maybe. We'll see. Uh, I'm not going to compile for anything if I don't get it done. <laughs> So, stationary equals two, et cetera, et cetera. So, right, so if, if input uh, get mouse button down, this is gonna be the case where we're dragging. So, uh, when we're, we're, we're possibly dragging. So, uh, so the things we wanna look for here are uh, stationary. Oh, I wonder. I guess, uh, Stationary might only be for, for mouse get mouse button out for like tapping. Um. <laughs> Whoa. Yeah, what is going on with me now? I. I can only it's only, it's like very tiny on my screen, but uh, is that a bug that you found or? Uh, is that oh is that just no that oh this. <laughs> <laughs> all right, <laughs> you got a little uh, stream jutsu going on, I think. Uh, all right, that's pretty rad. <laughs> You're doing great work, Clutch H two A. Please keep it up. <laughs> I mean, do whatever you want, but like, I appreciate it. Uh, <laughs> uh, all right, yeah. So for I'll do my get mouse button up because it's actually a little bit. Uh, it's a little bit. Uh, <laughs> that's a. Uh, <laughs> No, that's good. I I honestly like I had to uh, <laughs> I had to like do a double take just to figure out what the heck was going on there. Um, all right, so for for yes, mouse get button up for things we want to check. This is where we want to check for stationary. In the other case, we will want to check for move time. In this case, we want to check for stationary. So, uh, although actually, we do have to we have to do a check for stationary in uh, get mouse button up. Just not um, just not relevant for for get or for in get mouse button, just not relevant for dragging. So, uh, so yeah, here we'll say um, if uh, stationary, if press stationary, uh, if press stationary, oh, and, uh, and uh, press pause uh, minus, uh, or no, I, Technically, I want to do it the other way, but not that it super matters. Uh, input, what is it? Input, mouse position. If uh, input minus uh, press pause, really doesn't matter the order on this. I don't know why I did that, but anyways, uh, dot magnitude. So if, if the if the distance uh, that the cursor has moved is greater than not even the, the, cur the distance that the cursor has moved, but the, the location that the cursor has moved to, if that distance is greater than uh, press stationary max dist. Press stationary uh, max dist. Then, then uh, stationary equals false. Uh, it's the, the mouse is not stationary, and so we don't have to we don't have to worry about doing get mouse button up. Uh, uh, it might be a little silly to 
have both stationary and press moved. Press stationary and press moved, because like both what those those both serve to invalidate uh, get mouse button up. So yeah, I can probably collapse those into just one thing. Uh, so instead of yeah, I'm just gonna change press move to be uh, uh, refactor. Press moved will be uh, press uh, move on up. <laughs> move on up. <laughs> I don't mean it to be like move on up, as in like moving on up, but like uh, it's going to be a Boolean value to determine whether we want to move again on mouse key up button up or get mouse button up. <laughs> but whatever. All right, so now yet yeah, now we don't need we don't need both of these because it's a little redundant. So move on up, uh, we'll start it as true, uh, but then we'll invalidate it here. Oh yeah, we can get rid of stationary. Uh, we can invalidate it here. Uh, if, if it had been true and we move, moved beyond like the stationary range. Uh, <laughs> pepperoni. <laughs> so much pepperoni. <laughs> that is spectacular. That's spectacular work. This is uh, you're really good. Is it OBS that you're using, or like I don't know what what, uh, what software you're using, but uh, that uh, you get it. You got it going on. You got math skills. <laughs> I don't know. All right. Uh, <laughs> so the other thing we do, um, yeah, I'll just I'll, I'll do this one now because uh, why not? Uh, the other thing we do here is uh, if uh, uh, press uh, press move time is less than time dot time, then it's time to start moving. Uh, and actually, uh, I'm not gonna actually do the translation thing here. Uh, move hero. Or move, it's not called hero anymore. Or it's not called hero anymore. Hero was the last project I worked on, so I'm probably gonna call him hero a lot, just because the character, the, the, the main character in that game was called hero, but I've been started calling him who, so whatever. It's probably gonna be called who here. Uh, uh, yeah, so move, move who. And um, then the other things that we do are, uh, we invalidate press move on that, because we don't wanna do that anymore. Uh, equals false. Uh, no, equals true. Yeah, false. Yeah. Okay. But there's the other things. Oh, yeah, no. Then the other thing we do is uh, press move time. Move time uh, plus equals uh, press uh, hold uh, cooldown. So, yeah, then we'll, uh, as long as we keep holding, we'll, we'll keep moving every time uh, this cooldown time elapses. So, all right, so now uh, input mouse get button up. Uh, so let's say if uh, uh, press move on up, uh, and I, I think actually the only thing we have to do here is uh, move here, or move here. Uh, right, and the reason I'm not, um, oh, you're not gonna, Enjoy that. All right. Well, all right. I'll uh, I'll just do this other thing real quick. Whereas we have to. Uh, I'm gonna do a separate thing for moving the hero because it, it'll be complex and it'll only happen and it'll happen in multiple places. So, uh, so let's for for now let's just say void. Uh, so I guess I could do. Oh yeah. Hmm. I could do bool. I don't think I need to do bool. I might want to do bool later, but for now I'll just do void. Uh, move, who, uh, and then, uh, <laughs> in order to move who, we'll just say what? We'll say, I guess we'll just give the, yeah, we can just give the, uh, do we want to pass in the coordinates, or do we want to pre-calculate the direction based on the coordinates, and then just pass in the direction? 
uh, for now we can, for now we can do the, uh, oh, huh. Oh, yeah, no, we, maybe we should pre-calculate it, because uh, I actually want to do some other things about how how the input system works. All right, so, uh, yeah, so there'll be move who, uh, and it'll take uh, direction, probably. So I'll just say int dir, uh, or drc for direction. Uh, and that'll be something someday. Now I'm going to say move who zero because <laughs> that's a meaningless statement, but whatever. Oh, so actually, yeah, this should be like a uh, right because I have to pre calculate the uh, oh, yeah, how am I going to do that? So, yeah, basically, the way I want the screen set up is that I, like I, I basically want like there to be like a diagonal dead zone so that you don't. So that it's clear like which direction you want the hero to move, or the you want the character to move. Like if you press like if you like if you click right here, for example, you're actually telling the, the character to move like in this direction, to the to the right. Uh, you even though you're like slightly downwards, you're still you're there, you can only Im you can only input. Oh, well, actually, I guess if you're dragging, there's no reason you couldn't continue to sleep drag and then have it just like change direction. Like you just like, you know, maybe you press and hold over here because you want to move in this direction and then you just kind of like smear your finger down here. So, huh, yeah, how do I want to do that? I want a buffer zone. I still want like some sort of <laughs> So I still want some sort of buffer, um, but I'm thinking I, instead of having a uh, instead of having sorry I'm just uh, uh, I'm sitting down which is weird I don't usually do that so I'm just uh, anyways <laughs> it's just getting comfortable um, yeah I guess so instead of actually having a dead zone on the diagonals I think I'd rather have like a an overlap zone so like if you're smearing your finger in this direction like you can actually go over the diagonal and you you'll still go in that direction a slight distance. That way, uh, once you finally get here, um, then you can start moving in the other direction. This is probably way too much. Like, I probably don't have to do nearly this much in order to get, like, a good control system in. <laughs> so, uh, I'm resuming my next. Look, hey, look at that. Look, look, it's, like, actual fabric, fabric materials. It's, like, a, it's, like, a complete real shirt, too. Like, it's not just, like, a clever disguise of, like, a shirt. Like, look at that. Yeah. It's got sleeves and like cuffs and stuff and like buttons and, and everything. Yeah, <laughs> uh, yeah. So we're jamming this weekend, and this is the uh, this is the project that I'm making for the the jam. Sort of. It's like the beginning. So I've been working on it technically for a few hours now, but uh, I don't know. <laughs> I've put in like ten minutes of work. <laughs> um, I I think we you, you were here on Tuesday, right? When we made. Uh, when we made uh, that project down in the corner now. <laughs> Glitch HD Ray is streaming it, and so I'm streaming Glitch's stream <laughs> in the corner of the stream. So that <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so we got some stuff going on. <laughs> um, right now I'm overcomplicating the, the UI system, I think. I probably don't need to do crazy stuff with it. Uh... So, uh, yeah, let's um, let's just shoot for like moderately crazy, not like all out crazy. Uh, 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 uh. All right, so hmm. so <laughs> uh, all right. So, so yeah, I, like when we press, the other thing we have to do is to, or when we're going to move the character, the thing we have to do, one of the things we have to do is, is is realize like, which direction we're moving the hero, like based on where we've pressed on the screen. So to do that, we'll want to, we we'll want to take the, do you want to use the original press position? Do we want to, because like there is a little bit of smudge room. 
And so, like, hypothetically, if, if we had, like, dead zones are overlapping, like, uh, you know, those diagonals, the ambiguous diagonals, because, like, you know, if you press on the left, you move left. If you press down, you move down. But if you press, like, kind of down into the left, like, is that left or is that down? Um, so there's those ambiguous spaces. And, like, so you can even, like, press on an unambiguous space and then kind of, like, smudge your finger down to an ambiguous space. And so... Um, <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying to th <laughs> trying to think about about like how uh, yeah how do you, when and how to calculate which direction we're actually moving the character. So um, we could do we could do what like uh, oh man I'm not gonna this project is gonna get I have no clue what I'm what this project is gonna become because like just thinking about like scope at this point like what even like what even. <laughs> Alright, so, uh, yeah, I should really just go, like, fast and cheap at this point. I should really just, like, just put in anything, because, like, I need to, I need, I need, I need to be, like, basically, like, feature complete, like, relatively soon, just so that I have time to, like, iterate, because I know I'm going to want to change, like, a ton of different things. Uh, I need to have the core of the project up really soon. That's, like, the thing that I don't accomplish, that I know I need to accomplish for these jams to, to turn out successful. Uh, so, all right, so I really got to stop spend, wasting a bunch of time on the on the, uh, the UI system. All right, it's going to be based on um, the original press position. Uh, so we can even calculate it on mouse get button down. We can just say, so press pause equals input mouse position. Uh, let's, we can say, so like press dir, or press drc, uh, whatever. Uh, so bool uh, press drc equals uh, well no it doesn't have to equal anything at first we can say uh, uh, so yeah so if um, so if uh, huh. <laughs> I can't tell it's I can't tell it's in that lower corner right now what is that I have no clue <laughs> I can see that something is showing up there. I have no clue what is showing up there. Um. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> All right, that doesn't. <laughs> uh, what? Oh, can people hear me? Is it the audio? Yeah, on my test stream, I, I still have audio, so I don't know what that's about, actually. Um, is it just that I'm too soft? Sometimes I've, like, I've been trying to keep my voice down a little bit, just because um, there are a lot of other people in this space. Uh, so, um, uh, yeah, I can, I, I, but I can turn that up. I can, like, I can like tune dials on my things just to increase the microphone sensitivity, so even if I'm talking low. Yeah, let me know. Let me know how that works. Oh, actually, no. If you can't hear me, then you haven't heard anything that I've said. All right. Sorry, one sec. Um, uh, I'm just going to... So my uh, test stream still plays audio. Um, uh, is it just that my voice is too low? Uh, if so, if so, I can turn up, up the mic. Uh, 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 right, so what was it doing? Oh, yeah, uh, press direction. Yeah, okay, so let's calculate press direction. Uh, do we, yeah, we'll just do it here for now. Um, and I guess. Uh, I mean, the thing about calculating this up front, like, we could, we might actually just be able to calculate it here instead, because we kind of have to do something similar anyways. Uh, so, like, what we're going to do here is we're going to say, um, so if, uh, so, so what? If, uh, 
Uh, yeah, so it's just really simple for starters. Um, if um, so, like uh, uh, press uh, pause. Oh yeah, okay. So press pause uh, X. So float uh, float press pause X equals uh, or X O. Oh. Oh. All right. Yeah. Oh, okay. <laughs> Whoops. All right. So, <laughs> thank you for clarifying that. Uh, yeah, I'm not. I'm not playing any sound from my computer on my stream anyway. So, like, even if there was audio on his stream, it wouldn't play through my stream because you don't hear my computer. Actually, sometimes you hear my computer, but that's only when I'm not wearing my earbuds and I don't actually know why I don't actually know why I'm here wearing my earbuds uh, I guess just because I'm in a, a public space and so if my computer makes noises anyways uh, <laughs> thank you for clarifying <laughs> yeah it's uh, it's I, I didn't I didn't shut it down it should still be working uh, yeah all right cool yeah it's still working <laughs> thank you thank you glitch HGA. Right. this is great I uh, I've been I've, like I've been talking about like you know, wouldn't it be cool to bring in, like, guest stars and stuff like that to the stream? So this is, like, yeah, this is a little bit of that, a little touch of that. Uh, <laughs> if I'm looking over here, it's because uh, the test stream of my stream is bigger than the little stream in the corner of OBS. So I, uh, it's, that's, what, that's what I'm looking at, Glitch HDR stream. Anyways, um, so uh, press pause XO. It's going to be, <clears throat> so in order to determine where the player is pressing, or rather like what direction the player wants to move the arrow based on where they're pressing, we're going to, <clears throat> we're going to calculate the uh, X offset and the Y offset uh, based on the screen size and the input position. So uh, XO is going to be uh, X, the X, X coordinate in this case is, uh, I forget, actually. <laughs> it's, uh, the X coordinate is the horizontal, and the Y coordinate is the vertical. Okay. So X is, uh, screen dot width, uh, what, uh, what, so, that's one of the numbers that we want to use. Oh, and this one's an integer. This is, yeah, this is where integers are involved, that, uh, et cetera, et cetera. Uh, <clears throat> I don't like integers. I like floats. <laughs> I sometimes I like integers, but I don't like when I have to mix the two. Uh, um, all right, so screen width is a number that will be relevant to this calculation. What are the other numbers that will be relevant to this calculation? Uh, screen width. All right, so uh, so uh, press pause. Uh, press pause minus uh, screen width divided by two. Uh, oh, so float screen width. In case, in case it's an odd number, which I think it actually might be. Uh, <coughs> excuse me. Um, oh. Hey, Boston Mass. <laughs> I am in you. <laughs> uh, yeah, um, this is from, this is, uh, <laughs> sorry. Um, the, uh, so, right, yeah, so there's, like, offices hosting the, um, some local offices are hosting the Purple Monkey Game Jam, and I'm on location. I'm, uh, I'm at the, uh, I'm at this. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> it's always really creepy when people say that, but I couldn't resist. Um, <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> um, so right, yeah. So uh, yeah, um, it was uh, the Cantina, uh, Cantina, and the Boston Games Forum uh, collaborated to host this event, and uh, yeah, so they they put up office space and. Uh, it's, yeah, it's pretty rad. Uh, there's like a bunch of people here. There's a lot of people here. If you check out uh, Purple Monkey Game Jam's Twitter feed, there's a, a picture from the um, 
from the like the opening ceremonies and uh yeah it's uh oh good <laughs> what have we got going on down here uh <laughs> i i'm actually not certain what i'm looking at right now oh wow Oh, okay. <laughs> I think I recognize that. <laughs> Thank you, Glitch H3. Yeah, I sh uh, the, um, the stream is, like, like co-hosted. This stream is, like, a yeah. <laughs> yeah, so, I mean, uh, the gen oh, hey, uh, uh, thank you for, for following. Oh, oops, I should, uh, I should move that around. <laughs> yeah, thank you for following Boston Mass. Uh, uh, and yeah, thank you for tuning in. Uh, I appreciate your viewership. Uh, I'm just going to move this around so that way it shows up on top. Uh, position uh, or order. Move up. Order, sorry. Uh, move up. Yeah. Um, yeah. The uh, I don't know if you if you if you make games, but um, the uh, the jam only recently started. So I think like I think technically you could probably still join if you wanted to come on down like i think that'd be probably probably be fine i'm not like one of the official organizers or anything but uh i bet that would be fine if you wanted to the theme is disguises and uh like i've barely gotten any work done so, <laughs> so you'd be at about the same uh the same state i was <laughs> uh if you wanted to um but yeah so the thing i am working on because I'm, I'm making some progress on this project it's gradual but but sure uh the, uh, the, yeah, so, <laughs> the, uh, right, we're calculating the, 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 we're figuring out what the, <laughs> thank you, HDA, uh, thank you, Glitch HDA, uh, we're, we're figuring out the, based on where the user presses on the screen, we're figuring out, I, I caught that, Glitch HDA, thank you. Uh, <laughs> 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 uh, <laughs> okay cool yeah um all right well you're welcome to uh i like i haven't i also again i haven't checked with organizers but i assume people are welcome to like participate here so if you like if there's stuff that you 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 want to see for like this project like feel free to like collaborate by a chat i am um, <laughs> i um yeah i like to do i like to do collaborative jams on stream so i um I wasn't really thinking about this one as an opportunity to do that, but I, I'm pretty sure there's no specific reason that um, that we couldn't collaborate. So, yeah, feel free to. It's like, you know, uh, you know, whatever you want to. <laughs> whatever. Um, <laughs> uh, well, uh, yeah. Um, sorry. Feel free to shout out in chat if you if you have any particular inspiration or something that you'd like to see for the game. Uh, so, what am I doing here? Uh, yeah, so for this, I this is not the full calculation that I want because I actually want to do uh, I want to do like relative positions based so that we can compare x and y coordinates despite the fact that x and y coordinates are um, are on a different scale. So this is going to be one entire term, and then I'm going to divide this by the width, uh, by the overall width. So uh, that way uh, we can yeah we can do basically the same thing. Uh, except, oh wait, press pause, not not the entire press pause term, just the x coordinate of the press pause term. Uh, all right, so yeah, so now that's how we're getting our our press pause x o, and then we can do uh, press pause uh, or y o y offset, and this will just be based on the y value and the height instead of the width. So uh, I actually haven't asked. I assume so because like if so like. A uh, lion, like seventy-three lion, one, two, three. If you came down to this jam right now, you could start participating right now, right? Like, there's, uh, like, you you could be participating in this jam if you were on site. I didn't like if I didn't ask the organizers, but I, I did read the rules and I didn't see anything that would preclude it. Um, if you want to participate but you don't feel comfortable participating without me asking the organizers first, I can ask the organizers first. I just don't. I just assume that the answer was that yeah, it's fine. So. Um, that's why that's why I haven't asked yet. But I mean, if you want official confirmation, I could I could, check, I could look into that. Um, I mean, I don't think there's like a prize or like an award or anything at the end. So uh, at least no, there's no like monetary prize. I don't think it's it's basically like you know it's just at the end of the jam we'll um, 
we'll all show our demos and stuff. And, uh, so it's for prestige, I guess. Uh, and yeah, if you wanted to participate, I would. I, like, I'm not planning on adding a credit section or anything, but like, if they, if like the, if these get like credited anywhere, I'll, I'll definitely include you uh, for whatever contributions you felt like adding in. So yeah, uh, feel free. Uh, did I? Oh no, I didn't. Uh, I didn't change this one. All right, so. So yeah, now we have uh, our XO and our YO, and then we can just check if uh, uh, 